For me, Hopkins is synonymous with excellence in medicine. It's an exciting time to be here. There's a lot of new young blood that's coming into our division. With the recognition that to really make advances in patient care, it does take a multidisciplinary approach. At Johns Hopkins University Pulmonary and Critical Care Medicine, excellence in multidisciplinary care is a driving force. Among the many things that makes the division unique is the depth and breadth of expertise and the diversity of care. The division is building on the history and legacy of Johns Hopkins by developing innovative technologies, advancing the state of medical knowledge, and attracting and training the future leaders in pulmonary and critical care. Excellence in multidisciplinary care and collaboration is a constant theme at Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. And we do that not just on the clinical care side, but also on the investigative side. So right from bench to bedside, from scientific discovery to the care of patients, we take a multidisciplinary and cross-disciplinary approach, which I think really drives the innovation and the quality of the care that we can provide. Add to that the depth and breadth of expertise and its combination that makes the division of pulmonary and critical care medicine unique. I think what is very unique is that we do it across almost any lung disease that you can think of. So whether it's sarcoidosis, cystic fibrosis, pulmonary hypertension, asthma, COPD, and we have experts that treat that disease and we do it in a very cross-disciplinary way. We have physicians, nurses, pharmacists, social workers, respiratory therapists, physical therapists. There's a lot of new bridges that are being built here. And I think that improves care, so you don't miss things by working together. A philosophy junior faculty are taking to the next level. I couldn't be happier with my decision to join the adult cystic fibrosis team. I was naturally drawn to Johns Hopkins. We're one of the largest active research groups in the interventional pulmonary space. Johns Hopkins is a world-class institution and I'm the founding director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Non-Tuberculous Mycobacteria and Bronchiectasis. Patients with NTM and bronchiectasis have very specialized needs. Physician scientists are researching new diagnostic strategies and breaking ground on new therapies. I have the second patient who's been treated with phage therapy in the world for non-tuberculous mycobacteria. The multidisciplinary program intends to improve patients' lives. I feel like we're poised to change. Harnessing the technology of today, we may be able to give our patients a better tomorrow. Technology is playing a role in interventional pulmonology. One of the newest things that's actually come out is robotic bronchoscopy. And that's enabling us to like get into places in the lungs that we were really never able to get to in the past. Novel devices are aiding in lung cancer diagnostics. And specifically what we're looking at now is using a new biopsy tool called cryoprobe that we're trialing right now that enables us to actually get bigger pieces of tissue by actually freezing them and pulling it out that way. If this new cryoprobe is now actually getting us bigger, better, more higher quality samples with the idea of higher quality is going to get us better diagnostic yields. We have built a multidisciplinary sarcoidosis program with neurology, cardiology, and pulmonary involvement. And it started by getting everyone on the same page. And by bringing everybody into the same room, we're speaking the same language, and then we're talking about care and coordination. Health disparities and improving access to care are a big part of the conversation. It's one of the most underfunded pulmonary diseases out there and it's one that disproportionately affects black individuals. We developed a patient advisory board as part of the multidisciplinary group. We've actually developed a patient education initiative and we're doing a full series of low health literacy patient education. The Johns Hopkins um, Cystic Fibrosis Center has been providing care to both children and adults with CF for over half a century and we have actually grown into one of the largest adult programs in the nation. It's recognized as a precision center of excellence. We're actually focusing on women's health and cystic fibrosis, so going to be looking at sex hormone levels and how that relates to respiratory outcomes. We are committed to providing the best patient care to all lung diseases. We have new faculty that are 
carrying the torch and carrying the legacy of Johns Hopkins forward. It's fun to see people doing great things and it actually elevates you, it makes you work harder. That's what I get moved by and that's what I continue to do what I do. I'm grateful that I get to work in this environment. I get to do the work that I love. And that's what I love about Johns Hopkins. That's why I'm here at Johns Hopkins.